everyone and welcome back to the happy heart i'm so glad that you guys came back today to see another haul um this is actually a dollar tree haul that involves a little bit of easter stuff and then a little bit of saint patrick's day stuff i actually went in to get a few things for saint patrick's day because i have a tradition where a leprechaun um, brings my son just a little basket of goodies and usually um, it's just a really small basket because on Valentine's Day, he actually has a, what we call Captain Valentine, who brings him a treasure hunt for Valentine's Day. And we've been doing these traditions for, I think about three or four years, probably four years now. So I'm trying to keep those alive. So I really needed to rent a Dollar Tree to get just a couple of St. Patrick's Day stuff and I found some some good things that I wanted to share with you guys all right the first thing I got was I got this really cute shamrock dish towel um, I usually hang these on my oven door just for to kind of spruce up the holidays and make it fun and so when I saw these I thought this was actually really cute sometimes you see them and they're terrible so um, I thought this one was actually really cute so I had to had to get it for my son's um, little St. Patrick's Day gift that I'm going to do for him. I just got him a few little things, nothing crazy, and I always get him something to wear that's St. Patrick's Day-ish. Um, my mom actually usually sends him some kind of St. Patrick's Day shirt, um, but so this year I actually got him these little glasses, because um, one year she sent him glasses and he really likes them. And I got him a little necklace that lights up because I just thought he would think this is so fun because it lights up. So I'm hoping that it still works. We'll see. I went ahead and grabbed him. These are one of his favorite little candies. So I went ahead and grabbed um, these for him. If you haven't tried these, Sour Patch Watermelon, they are so good. And this is actually a good price. I've never seen them at the dollar store. They are over a dollar anywhere else. Just FYI. In the toy kit section, I actually found these really cute pirate play sets. This one comes with like an eye patch and a hat and um, like a little looking glass. I also got another one that has um, gold and things like that. And I just thought he'd really like this. My child's very, very into dress up. And so I thought these would be perfect and they're super cheap, a dollar. Like, and I also went ahead and grabbed him these bubbles. Um, I looked all over at different types of bubbles because you can get three packs, you can get four packs, and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to grab him these bubbles. I got the green one for St. Patrick's Day, and since I only have one child, I just thought I'm going to get one and be done with it. But they do have ones in three packs and four packs um, that I thought were really good deals too. So if you're looking for something like that, they have them. I actually got my son a few other things, but I'm not sure if I'm going to add it into St. Patrick's Day or Easter. The only things I have gotten for Easter for him has just been candy, so I wanted to get just a few little, just silly little toys that he would like. So I picked up two things of Pokemon cards because he's very into that. I picked up one of these, they're magic, I have like a magic towel. So I think it gets bigger, I want to say, and I just thought he would have fun with that. I also saw this whoopee cushion, and my son is going to think this is hilarious, and they had all different colors, but I went with the traditional red, because if you're going to do the whoopee cushion, you got to be traditional, right? I grabbed one of these little play sets. Um, these you can get for a dollar pretty much anywhere, but it has the stickers, the little play, the little coloring book, and the crayons that you can like take on the go with him. And I just did not have one of these in my kind of like in my back pocket for my car or anything. So I said, all right, well this is going to be a perfect opportunity to give one as a gift, and then I'll have it. <laughs> I saw these, it's, a, it's called Turbo Wheels, and it looks like you push the car onto it and then you push this button and it like, I don't know, runs away. It just looked really cool. I thought maybe he would like it better than per se like um, just a car or something like that. Um, I don't know how well it will work, but I think that he would actually like it. These are actually, it's called a grow creature. 
and somehow you submerge these in water and they get bigger. 600% bigger and it says they go back down. So I actually thought this would just be really fun to do one day in school and I think I'm going to put these in his Easter basket so then we can uh, do it in the month of April in school because we homeschool. I also got him this little kit and it is to make like a little bunny and a little, I don't know if you guys can see, a little bunny and a little chick. I thought he would think this is really fun. I might give this to him early if I need um, like a craft or something for him to do. I'm gonna kinda keep it in my back pocket or I'm gonna throw it in the Easter basket, so we'll see. The other thing I thought was really cool that I found is I found this paint um, set. It's a coloring paint set, and this one looked a little more boyish because it had the robot, um, but it came with these little paints and a paintbrush. And I thought for a dollar that this was actually a really good deal. So um, it's festive, of course, but I still think it will be um, festive to Easter. So it'll definitely go in his Easter basket, but I think that it will be really good. I went ahead and grabbed myself a stapler because I have been going through two staplers and they have not worked. Um, so I grabbed another one, hoping this one's gonna work. Cross your fingers for me, guys. I might just go to a office store if I have any other problems. So I'm trying one more dollar one because I had a dollar one that I used for years and years and years that was little like this. So I think I'm just getting luck of the draw. The other thing I grabbed for myself is I grabbed these river rocks. I'm gonna put them in a vase um, that I have a candle in. And I was trying to think of something to put because the candle kind of teeters around. So I thought, well, and this just looked like a really good option, and there's kind of a lot of them. So I'm gonna see how this looks on my table. If I don't love it, I know that since it's like the river rock thing, I could probably reuse it some other place in my house. So I just went ahead and went for it. The last thing I got was I got these the egg coloring tabs. Um, I like the ones that come with the cups. Uh, I know some people don't, but I just do. And I usually grab two of these, but I thought to kind of lengthen out the process this year, uh, I would just get the one and make him actually wait for the eggs to, to die like a normal person, right? I actually waited last year right before Easter and the dollar store ran out of these and I remember having to go to Walmart and pay more than a dollar. I don't know exactly how much, but I knew I had to pay more and it just irked me because it's just dying Easter eggs, you know. So, I went ahead and grabbed this. The other thing I grabbed is I actually grabbed two, I can see there's two here, two of these little baskets. I know they're hard to see. These are one of my favorite baskets to organize with. And I've been, the other baskets I have are actually this blue color and that's why I grabbed it. I might use one for his Easter basket and just put a bunch of stuff in there um, and the candy and everything. I And then just kind of take it back and use it in the house. I really needed one and I thought, you know what, you better grab two just in case. And I might put the leprechaun stuff in here too, so I guess we'll see what happens. I actually, I actually think these are really cute organizing just because they they, you can kind of squish them together. They're easy to pull out. When you have them up on a shelf, they're easy to pull out because they're more flexible. So if you see these at your Dollar Tree, it might be something that you'd want to try more than the stiff kind of um, plastic baskets that come out. And I have found that these work a lot better. Um, I can put, I put labels on mine as well. And the only thing is with my label maker, per se, I kind of have to put tape over that as well because they'll come off. And I don't know if it's the curb or it's my labels. I haven't figured it out yet. So, but they're kind of one of my favorites to organize with in my home. Thank you guys for coming over and seeing my Dollar Tree haul. I need to go hide some of this stuff before my little eight year old gets into it. And I also need to put together the leprechaun basket. So I have all that together. And when Saturday comes around, I won't be scrambling for St. Patrick's Day. 
Hopefully this gave you some good ideas and um, inspired you for Easter baskets or St. Patrick's Day. I know this is, this year everything's kind of squished together, so it's getting us guys, but we will prevail and it will be such a fun holiday. Thank you all and I will see you again in my next brand new video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I upload a video. Have a good day.